Wednesday night, Neverwinter Wednesday. We're playing Neverwinter Nights, and we just uh, last time finished the first chapter. Tonight we're going to have to just run around and talk to some NPCs, because we're just getting into the city for the first time, and uh, I managed to, to just sell a few things so I wouldn't have to do that on camera, so to speak. Um, but we are just getting into the game. I've got a little bit of a lead that um, the Peninsula District, which is the prison district, um, the warden let basically all the criminals out of the jails for whatever reason. Nobody knows. And that there's all kinds of havoc there. Uh, Welcome. Do you have see. news of the missing water tape? Of course. I will do my best to help with whatever you need to know. Do you have any information as to where there the creatures are many might rumors, be? And I would not like to give you any. There have been some promising reports from the prison district. Several eyewitness accounts indicate a strange creatures wandering the area. All was a short time ago. Okay, so she's saying, yeah, go to the peninsula district, which is also called the prison district. But there is no guarantee the reports are accurate. The creatures could be in any one yes, of Yes, I'm sure there's probably one I in each. Up to you where you want to take your search. Is yeah. there anything else? Um so anyways, so uh, as the backstory that we've learned so far is that she and Fenthic, the other dude, is are are a couple, and the uh, there's the other priest of Helm who doesn't really like her very much. He's kind of a jerk, and you know we have suspicions about him, of course, because they always make one of the bad guys, uh, one of the inner circle of the good guys or whatever. Yeah, let's see, let me. <coughs> Pardon me, hold on, let me just do a little bit of a mic. <coughs> Alright, so as I was saying, um, we, uh, see, she's like, tell me about, uh, Dester, I think yes. The Helmite is arrogant, sanctimonious, self righteous, and holier than thou. So Forgive me for being so blunt, but Duster and I do not see eye to eye. Yep, so she didn't like Duster him either. challenges my every decision on general principle, or so it would seem. He is constantly accusing me of abandoning my faith and not trusting enough in the power of the divine. Sometimes I think Duster and his Hellmites do more to hinder my efforts than help mm. them. But Fenthic hey. assures me they bring hope to the city, and hope is something the people... T is there anything else? Just your instincts, lady. Yep, you're still wearing that terrible. Oh, and your neck seems to be somewhat wobbly on your head, too. <laughs> so, yep, you need you need new armor, young young miss. Of course, I I need probably need new armor too. Let's see what we got here. We got a little. Let's see. Well, I'm supposed to be wearing a breastplate, but this is a uh, looks like scale mail there or something. And what I can't figure out is, uh, you know. The uh, all the armor of the ladies leaves their their butt cheeks hanging out there. Well, what can you do? All right, nurse. What's going on here, nurse? What can you tell me about the plague? Uh, as much as most, less than some, I suppose. I've seen my share of the dead and dying. So start to work here. Uh, have you ever heard anything about a cure? There's no cure for the plague. Everybody knows that. All I can do is try to ease their suffering. Haven't you heard rumors? A cure from Waterdeep. How are they going to get it here with everyone around our quarantine? You're cra talking crazy. Did you hear anything about the attack? I heard Fenthic and Dester were whispering about it once, but they clammed up as soon as they saw me. And Dester gave me a foul look. What were they saying? This was saying the attack was all Arabeth's fault, and Fenthic was trying to defend her. That's all I heard. Uh, I've heard any rumors. I've heard my share. Dester and Arabeth are always arguing with Fenthic. Tell me about Dester. Arabeth doesn't like him. I know that much. We got a sharp tongue and a sour face, but I think it's more than that. But it's not really my place to speak of such things. Okay, let's see if we can skill check her. Come on, you can tell me. I'm just a nobody. Uh, darn it. Failed. Didn't show my roll, though. Sorry, but I better not say any more. Yeah, alright. Goodbye. 
So you know, instead, we'll we'll just talk to uh, one of the other nurses who looks and talks just like you. Maybe I can use the exact same skill check on her. I don't know. I greet you. Can I ask you some questions? Have you heard any rumors? Tell me about this, sir. Come on, tell me. No, nope, no. Nope. Maybe it remembers. All right. Even though they're two completely different nurses. This is the uh, Hello to you. area of your call. Greetings, Narania. Arabeth instructed me to provide whatever assistance I can in your mission. Uh, my magic skills are tied to the teleportation portal in this temple. Stone of Recall in your backpack. Is there something I can do for you? I don't understand. I thought you would be familiar with this by now. However, it's important, so I'll go over the use of Stone of Recall again. In your backpack, you carry a stone recall. You can activate the stone at any time and instantly tell you to port you and anyone in your service back to the temple. This allows you to return quickly to town whenever you need to, saving precious time. That's handy. That is handy. There is more, Narania. Once you've used the stone, go through the teleportation portal and instantly send you back to the place the stone is like that. Well, that is, that's quite handy for uh, an RPG video game. All right. Goodbye. It is this, uh... Ooh, pardon me. Uh, obviously, magical pools filled with pink hibiscus liquid. This is, uh... Examine the contents of the pool. Okay, so this is the thing that... I didn't quite understand what it did in the last chapter. I mean, my, if I'm supposed to, like, put something in it, or... Continue. Examine the contents of the pool. So what happens if I... For instance... Oh, it's a sell the longbow. Sell it. I don't want to sell it. I want to magic it. I want to magic it up. Right, you know what? Uh, what if we... Let's see if we split these. Let's, let's make two. Put these back here. Alright, what happens if we throw these two into the pool? Cannot sell that. Alright. Whatever. I'll figure out. I'll look up the pool later. Alright, let's go out into the city and talk to some people. We need some leads. We need to get there quickly. Time is ticking. I greet you. Uh, okay, have you heard anything? Has there been any word? Okay. How the prisoners got loose? I don't know. Captain Elfin has always run such an efficient operation. I hope nothing has happened to him. Okay. Isn't there anyone in the district able to fight back? Nope. I'll see what I can do. You stay here. All right. Yeah. She's she's basically saying go to the prison district and see what's going on. Right, citizen, citizen. They probably have nothing interesting to say. Quit waving your weapon around. All right, fine. I'll put it away. Good business to you. Greetings. All right. What about this fella? I think I can talk to him. He's named NPC. Hello. I need to ask you a few questions. Uh, what do you know of the plague? Do it until Arabeth and her lot handle the delicate stuff. We come in guards. Keep the peace. We can maintain courting. Uh, you sound like you don't particularly like Arabeth. She handles the city security on a big scale, reporting to Lord Nasher. She brings in people like you for special missions, leaving for us little things like, oh, restraining plague maddened rioters. Pardon me if I don't think she's more important than dozens of us who already been put to the torch thanks to the willing death touch. Uh, Alright, what do you know about the, the cure? Another thing, I was briefed on Wardavian creatures, but nothing since my life's on them. The line to keep the streets clear, riders, like you're saying. Uh, I want to ask you something else. Uh, have you heard anything odd? Any rumor? All I hear bad things are getting. How many more men we've lost? It's like war, except you can't make the whaling surrender. With us gone, different districts each hold their intrigues, I'm sure. All I know. So we're fighting a losing battle. Even here in the core. Alright, this guy's got nothing. He's got nothing useful to say here. Uh, 
Doomsayer, make peace. What? 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 Uh, hello. Right. Citizen, citizen, citizen. All right, you guys are with us. Oh, there's a chest. Just a random chest here. Come on. Oh. So I'm just leaving some money in there. I'll take that. I mean, granted, there's only one gold, but. Hey, Phoebe, what do you got to say? What do you want? I'm no guard. I can't help you. All I can do is wait for the plague to get me, and I can't even do that for my own bed. Why not? I don't suppose you feel any better yourself if you've lost your home, let alone been chased out by zombies. It's just the beggar's nest, I know, but it's better than sitting here smelling the corpse's burn. Can I ask you some questions? No, please, I don't want to think about this any more than I have to. Maybe I could help? Why would you help me? I'm just a lowly peasant from Beggar's Nest. Half the city's probably happy to see the place of her own. Alright. Could I ask you some questions? Yeah. See you, bye. You got nothing to say. Alright, fine. Greetings. What about you? Can I help you? No, what am I thinking? I can't even help myself. Can't even huddle in my own home. Can't go home to Beggar's Nest because of zombies. Can't get out of the city because of quarantine. What's a guy supposed to do? Just choke on the stink of corpse fires, I guess. Uh, okay, could I ask you some questions? No. I don't want to have to think about this anymore. Yeah, I know I know the feeling, fellow. Um, believe me. Maybe I could help you out. I don't know how you could. I don't know anyone that could take on an army of zombies by themselves. The beggar's nest is completely overrun. The home is overrun. Alright. You guys don't have anything interesting to say either. Alright, so let's see. Let's, uh... City gate... Refugee shelter, Black Lake District. All right, we're gonna. Priest of Helm. Hello to you. I won't answer though. I'm a newcomer too. Grant granting blessings in this time of plague. Not let. Need the information. Uh, what do you know? Plague. Have you heard anything odd? Any rumors? Have you collected a lot of charitable donations? I have acquired some measure of gold from the generous. What business do you have asking me about it? <laughs> you will give me a gold or I'll kill you, claiming you are stealing it. I mean, I don't, right, yeah, don't want to be totally evil, so I'm uh, just curious. Uh, what do you know of the plague? Welling pools at the soul, spiritually tearing a victim apart from the uh, What do you know about the cure? Most are foolish sorcery, none have proven effective. The Hellmites under Dester are certain our only blessings will deliver a Uh People are reluctant at first, but the more plague strikes at them, the more they abandon such things and seek what we are for. Do you want the other cure attempts to work? Insight check. Everyone seeks the end of the plague. Uh, Dester merely believes that our methods will bring swiftest resolution. Uh, anything odd. Okay. Not really. Of course, I'm busy myself with the concern for the plague, and do not worry about petty scams. Don't waste your time following conjecture. You should be more concerned than... Alright, yeah, you have nothing useful to say. As you will. Will you like a blessing as you go? Uh, uh, sh sure. What the heck? Should I be nice about it or be like, ah, eh, whatever? Uh, if you wish. I doubt it'll do anything. Well, did that do anything? Please don't leave me. All my children. All right. Well. All right. Thanks. Hey, what about these? Uh, Kyle. Yep. Well met. Yes, is there something you require? These dark days left on my mind other things. I want to ask you some questions. I can spare a few moments from my worrying. What is it that you wish to know? Uh, what do you have? have you heard anything odd? Have you paid your safety tax? <laughs> have you heard anything odd in your rooms? Uh, okay, so this person is just there for me to rob. Uh, Alright, goodbye. I'm not going to be that kind of player right now. Maybe on another run, but this is the first time through, so... 
it's just another guard. Yeah. I'm sorry, give me a moment. The smell of the burning corpse is getting to me. The plague isn't bad enough on its own. And now with the beggar's nest, it's even worse. Have you heard? Come on. It's a nightmare in there. Zombies are everywhere. We're keeping the city course secure, but damn if I can if we can do much for the nest. Uh, is this area quarantined? Do you let anyone in or out? As a guard, you'll be allowed to pass. Other than that, we've tried to keep it sealed. The plague is the worst of the nest. And now there's undead. The zombie threat is keeping people in their homes, so there haven't been many confrontations between the guards and the people trying to break quarantine. Uh, Helmites were allowed to establish a shrine. I hear they continue to grant blessings. I doubt they counted the undead infestation. Uh, is there anywhere I should go specifically? There's a tavern, the Shining Serpent in the South Central Vegas. Yeah, okay, that's a, that's a small lead. Harbin Ashensmith is there organizing people. Who's Harbin? He's a friend of the guards. I'm not sure of his official rank. He doesn't like to use it much. He prefers to stand in the rank and file. He'll be able to give you more information than I can if he's still alive, that is. Is this the last outpost of the city guards? There are some on the other side of the gate. They're supposed to keep the plague victims from riding, but now they must contain the undead. It's an impossible job. We don't have the manpower to maintain patrols. Hopefully you'll be able to help us. Okay. Uh, heard anything about the air? Uh, Airbeth has you looking for those. Sorry I can't help you. I haven't heard anything. Alright. Wish me luck. Ah, well, but don't hold up much hope for the district. Alright, well, I'm not going there yet, anyways. Uh, right, who's Harris? Can I help you? No, what am I thinking? I can't even help myself. Oh, another. Alright, can I ask you some questions? I don't know how you could. Okay. Uh, beggar's Nest is completely overrun. My home is overrun. You, Alright, you're, you're saying the same, guy, the same thing that other guy said. That's not very helpful at all. All right. See you, bye. All right, where am I? Ooh, can I go up here? Ah, here's some stuff. Yeah, a chest. Oh, and some gold just lying around. Okay, I'll take that. Granted, it's only one gold, but, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, some more gold. People leave gold in strangely strange places around the city. Almost as if they're hoping somebody will come by and steal their gold from them. Oh, here's another box. What about this box? Oh, hey, cure moderate rooms like that. People just leaving potions around, gold around. Are you people burning or is this a campfire? <laughs> I don't know if that's a corpse fire or... Yeah, it must be. Alright. Uh, citizen, citizen. Alright, you guys... Business to you. Hello there. Come on now. Here's, uh, oh, here's a crate. What do we got in the crate? Uh, some of these tools. Alright. Can't really use them, but... Actually, I guess anybody can use these tools. So you don't have to be a thief. Object is locked. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can unlock it. Success will never be possible. All right, all right. Well, let's see here. Uh, here. All right, bear. Big berry. Bash it. Dead. Please help. Oh, there you go, bear. Nice job. Oh, there's nothing in there? Oh, there's something. A potion? Okay, cool. Good job, bear. Knew I kept you around for a reason. Alright, let's... Guard dog. Can I... Animal handling him or something? Let's see. Talk to examine. Cast spell attack. Animal empathy. Uh, oh, I've dominated the car dog. Oh, are you coming with me now? Can I can I tell you to 
follow. Oh, there you go. All right, now we got uh, got lots of animals. Oh, more people are leaving random, random loot in the city. Spare a coin, friend. Oh, what was this here? Not shiny knight in arms and armor. Okay, let's see. You. Durga. All right. Hello. Uh, I want to ask you for some questions. Have you sh have you heard anything odd? I don't have time for rumors. Okay. What do you know of the pike? It's cutting my sails. That's what I know. Supplies are running out. Okay. I'm looking for the premium equipment. Hmm. Not sure what you're after, really. My stock is the best you'll find for an honest coin. Times are hard to limit your sales like that. Come on. Well, I guess you're right. Mark doesn't like selling premium items to people he's not sure can take care of them. Business is business. I probably don't have enough money for him. Okay. So let's see your wares. Okay, so I think I unlocked that. Okay, let's see what you have to sale. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I only have like 90 gold pieces, so that's not really going to be helpful. Lesser gauntlets of ogre power. Greater archer belt. Yeah. Well, that's only 28,000. Well... Looks like I did get the uh, the good stuff, as it were. Padded armor plus one, breastplate plus one. That's twelve hundred. One day, maybe. All right. Potions. Silver, glittering, copper. Amulet of natural armor plus one. Mm. Alright. It's nothing that useful. Or at least nothing. Does he mind if you steal stuff out of the store? I don't know if I should poke around or not. It doesn't look like there's any crates, so that you can just open. Oh, but he has a back room. Can I just wander into his back room without Asking permission? I mean, I have a dog and a bear, you know. What's he gonna do? Ooh, there's a uh, armor in there. Ah. Uh, let's see. Okay, what is it you do here? I'm a weapon or armorsmith of sorts. I take component items and combine them with magic items to make even powerful magic items. Not a bad little gig. Okay. If you want, you can look through your inventory and backpack to see if you have anything I can combine into a powerful weapon or suit of armor. Is there anything in particular you want me to look for? What kinds of things would be component items? Well, I need stuff like adamantine and ironwood and diamonds and dragon blood and fairy dust, holy water and gargoyle skulls and adamantine. Okay. Where can I get some of these? Hey, my concern, if you're a venturing sort, you can go and try and take them from monsters. I think you can get some from merchants, though. Uh, is the item guaranteed to be powerful? Uh, no. See, if your weapon or armor is really powerful already, you should keep it. Just give me your low-level magic items. I can't guarantee that your fancy items won't get worse. <laughs> uh, okay. What you can make. You don't seem to see anything I have. Okay, that's fine. I'm interested in magical sorts. Okay, let me peek inside your backpack. What do I got? Alright, I got nothing. I'll just be going. Don't want to waste my time. Oh, this is, there's something in the forge. Nothing in the forge. Alright, let's get out of here. <coughs> Dog and bear. Uh-oh, did I just dismiss my bear? Ah, really? That was way too easy to accidentally click. 
Ugh. That is annoying. Oh, there he is. Okay. Phew. Oh, but now the dog's gone. I think I lost my dog. Oh well, maybe he'll be wandering around the city again. Okay, what's well uh Moonstone Mask? Spare a coin, friend? Nope. I'm not giving you diddly. Sign. Moonstone mask. A courtesan. Bonjour. Hello. Um, at this horse. Oh, I have got the plague or something just as good. And you don't you may wag your finger at me, but I ain't dead yet. <laughs> I think you actually wanted. Can I ask you some questions? Uh, is there anything going on in this area city? There's always things going on. Most of it's out of reach. Your ears, however, except maybe urgent whisperings of dying men. Maybe you've heard something of interest. Depends. You could go to Castle Never. Interesting enough, send me a love. Uh, I'd be interested in work if you know anything. Nobody's spending coins, so nobody's hiring. Except maybe at Moonstone. But even there, probably not. Maybe you've heard something of interest? Depends. Uh, okay, I heard that. All right. You have nothing useful. Uh, working girl, not normally big. But these aren't normal times. Could you spare me a kindness? Uh, all right. Here, take a gold piece. You never know when that might pay off in the end. All right. Sometimes you got to be a nice guy. Or gal, in this case. Da, 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 patron. Ugh. Can't walk around this guy. All right, Ophelia. Let's see what you got to say. Welcome. Welcome. I am Ophala, your host and purveyor of time, space, and energy. I'm especially happy to see that women are visiting. As you can see, it seems that men are more inclined to seek the comfort in times of crisis. Ah. Well, you answer some questions. Uh, what kind of place are you on here? I think I already know that. Uh, have you heard anything? What kind of, um, but I'll ask anyways. It's a place of comfort and understanding. That has different meanings to different people. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. I can't expect you to understand this. This is your first visit. Most of what goes on is here's quite innocent. You can trust me. What have you got? I suppose there's no harm in me telling you what I need. Maybe you can help if you're good enough. You see, I'm an avid collector. My position here lets me hear about interesting things, and I occasionally hire people to get them for me. Currently, I want a few pieces of art liberated. The owners of them have made disparaging remarks about me, and I would like to express my displeasure. Uh, tell me about these artworks. One is a statuette of someone's mother or some such. Lord Andrad Golden has it as his estate. He lobbied to ban city guards from visiting Moonstone Mask. Okay. Now there's a portrait of Sir Reginald... Rumbottom III. His nephew, Lord Thomas Rumbottom, has repeatedly lobbied to have us closed down. He's a bit insecure. The last is an urn stolen from me some years ago. The man that took it apparently got stuck here in the quarantine. Hodge is his name. Uh, Alright. Whatever. Maybe I'll get them. Excellent. Rumbottom Estate is the Black Lake District... Uh, both are notorious paranoid. As I heard, Hodge may have been in the Black Lake District. No doubt he's fortified himself. I'm not interested asking you to kill, just bring me the items. I'm interested in the back room. Well, we have many pleasant plans. We're willing to offer their comfort to somebody. They can cater to both men and women are quite still. I want permission to access the back room. I'm sure you do very well. First, you will need writ from Olaf in the Temple of Tears certifying that you're plague-free. Just a precaution. You understand? All right. So. All right, fine. All 
Hey, what's going on, Torgo? What do you got? Anything interesting? Felt is actually uh, nothing I can afford. Probably I've only got 90 gold. selling your potions for 29 all right so all right patron patron yeah uh, I don't want to spend time talking to it talking to people who don't even have a name in the game right, that guy patron 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 All right. Have you left anything not nailed down that I could steal from you? No, nope, not in here, apparently. Does this just eat outside? That oh, looks like it might eat outside. What about these? Oh, this is in the other rooms. What's in here? Oh, let's go upstairs. Uh, interesting. What's going on up here? It's locked. Hmm. I don't have a... Object is locked. Specific key is required to open that door. This is probably the back room stuff or something. Alright, well. Let's so never mind that. I'm not trying to get in trouble. I just want to... Just seeing if there's stuff I can steal. Oh, that's back outside. Alright. That's fine, I was done there. Hey, Lurk. The uh, devil is OB. Good day. Didn't see that you guys wandered, you folks wandered in the chat. I hope you're having a good night. I'm trying to run around and get some information. And uh, if I can do that quickly enough, I'm going to get back into the action of this. This place here. Uh, let's see. Hey, do you guys have anything I interesting to say? Please, good madam, can you help? We have lost family to the plague and our escaped convicts in the Peninsula District prevent us from even mourning our own. Uh, could I ask you some questions? I don't know if someone like me could tell you. All I know is that none of us can go home. The guards do nothing in the Peninsula is unimportant. All right, fine. Perhaps I can help. I don't know if you can or not. I'm not sure what has gone wrong there. I just know that if we try to go back to our arms, we'll be killed. Is there something you can do? Please, I'm begging you to help us. Well, I am I just said I would. What? You're not, you're not telling me anything. All right. Goodbye. What about you? I greet you. What do you want? I thank you for your sympathy that we've come to offer, but the guards have already given us plenty of good wishes. Unfortunately, it doesn't help to get our homes back. Peninsula is all but overrun by escaped criminals. We've lost everything to them. Why doesn't anybody do something about it? What can I do to help? I don't know. You can take on the whole district by yourself, can you? I guess we need a hero. I don't know if that's you. Alright. So these guys aren't... They're not giving me a specific quest hook. Well talk to the guard. Well, he's taken his toll beyond these gates last, making a dangerous place. Lady Air Breath has orders to restrict access. In other words, if you want access to the Peninsula District, you're going to need quarantine clearance. Lady Air Breath has assigned me to temporary military duty. I was worried she'd be hiring adventurers to help other ranks. What can I do for you? Uh, I've got some general questions. Then. Okay. What about the Peninsula District? Is there any way I can help in there? Well... Commander Sabeel came tearing through here on militia orders a while back, but I probably shouldn't be talking about that. There are enough rumors in the city already without me adding to them. Look, I'm here to help. Let's persuade. Success! Woohoo! I suppose you're right. Apparently there's been a bit of a prison break. <laughs> yeah, we already know that. If you want to know more about it, I suggest you talk to Commander Sabeel in person. She'll have temporary headquarters set up somewhere in the district. Okay. Well, that's something. I have a little bit of lead there. How bad? It's pretty bad. I certainly wouldn't go in on eclipse. Okay, Captain Kip can brief you once you're on the other side. Okay. Any places I should look out for in the Peninsula District? 
There's not much there, to be honest. The prison at the top of the rise is all. Most rep little folk in business steer clear. You should probably talk to the gate captain, Kip, on the other side. Uh, let's see. Can you tell me anything about the water deviant? My friend, Haggard was with the Night Watch of the Academy when Caravan bringing in the creatures came in. We found them throat slit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he had the symbol of Helm, God of us all guard folk, gripped tightly in his frozen palm. We buried with him. Uh, interesting. It's a clue. He was grabbing a helm, but I don't think... I think he grabbed it from his attacker. Is there anybody who might know? The person who knows the most is probably Lady Arabeth herself. She's a good soul. And deadly smart, too. Yeah. Uh, anything you can tell me. Yeah, alright. Yeah, you already read that. know anything else that happened that night uh, the rest is history freed from the cages of water Davian creatures fled into the night and are out there hiding uh, uh, what do you know but he doesn't know anything all right goodbye yeah, you don't have anything useful thanks anyways all right <laughs> where's What's the last thing we should do? I think maybe we do need to hire at least one fighter-y person if we're going to go. So let's go, yeah, to the let's go to the mercenary spot where all the people are that you can talk to to hire. I don't want to spend any money right now because I don't have that much. But you know, plague victim. Now, oh, hey, they got some coin. I'll take your plague victim coin. Duke. What do you have to say for yourself, Duke? Nothing. Alright. You're not useful. Alright. So, let's see. We have... Uh, hey, do you need a henchman? Greetings, madam. I see you're not infected with plague. ravages Neverwinter. Among such suffering and misery, we who are not yet afflicted must be grateful for our health. Who are you? I am Dalian, Red Tiger of the Uthgard tribes of the Frozen North, but it has been over a year since I left my people and come to Neverwinter. Now I earn my living as a blade for hire. You're quite well spoken for a half orc. That's that's like <laughs> Alright. We'll we'll let that one be. Times are different now. Uh, I'm sorry I don't know much about the Uthgard tribes. I'm in the Uthgard tribes and come to the city. Well, I don't know much, I'll say about that. There are some in the city who call my people savages and barbarians, but they know nothing of the youth guard. We are great warriors and hunters following the herds and living off the land. My tribe is noble but small. Among them, there's little chance for a young warrior to prove himself or earn a wife. But I am young and strong, and my people are renowned for their skill in battle. Here in Neverwinter, I found work on the docks as a guard for cargo and shipment being transferred. Okay. Then what happened? Well, there's a plague coming of the plague changed everything. The quarantine halted incoming and outgoing ships. There was no work and no money. Many of the dock workers were afflicted. Men I had come to know as friends I stayed to ease their suffering. Yeah. Okay. If my friends dead, there was no reason to stay in the docks. What do you mean about the docks getting worse? The quarantine trapped ships and ports, swelling the numbers of pirates and other criminals in the district. Men with no honor. And as a city guard focused on the plague, these evil men have seized control of the docks. Okay, well, that's a little bit of a lead. An Uthgart warrior knows no fear, but I will not dishonor my tribe. I refuse to serve these men. I will not become a common thug or murderer. Before I left, I heard talk in the district of an auction. <sighs> Pardon me. To be held at Jim Seedy's tavern. A seedy tavern, uh-huh. Sometimes, something beside the usual stolen merchandise, merchandise, illegal goods and helpless slaves sold it. Filthy denizen. Uh, that might be... The word spread quickly on the street. Perhaps I could have learned more before I left. But I had no interest in such transactions. I'm, I'm wondering if that's one of the water Davian creatures. I'm more here, not a smart one. Uh, okay, I am looking for some hired help. Uh, I am no stranger to battle, but I am a warrior. I will not undertake any sinister mission. 
Had I desired such work, I could have found an employment back at the docks. I work for Lady Rarebuff. I've been instructed to find several missing creatures and ingredients to play cure. Uh, Alright. Rarebuff's reputation is well known throughout the city, so I have no fear your mission will bring dishonor to me. I will work for you if we can agree upon a fair price for our services. I'm not young one to boast of my abilities, yet the skill and ferocity of Uthgar tribes is well known. I doubt you will find any other axeman for hire who is my equal. Only 200 gold. Well, I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. I must earn a living. As you wish. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford any of these people, probably. Mercenary, mercenary. These guys have anything to say? Hello there. Nope. Velvet. Hey, what? Okay, can't hire any of them. What about you? What about this dude over here? Hey, do you need a henchman? Sure. I know you. You were at the academy during the slaughter of the students. You were there when the assassins came. Okay, who? What do you know? I'm Grimjaw, monk of the Order of Long Death. Grizzly. Count of the Academy is no great secret in Rania, not to those who seek such things out. Tell me, as you stood amidst the blood-soaked corpses of your fellow students, did you gaze upon the face of death? Did you look at his cold eyes and feel his icy touch upon you? You're a bit creepy, buddy. What kind of skills does a monk... The Order of Long Death possess. I'm a discipline and torment, messenger of death, and silent lord, to bring absolution of pain and anguish to my enemies. Uh, what are you doing in Neverwinter? There's a foul taint upon the city. Death. Permanent death is a perfect in its absolute finality. Pain, suffering, anguish, torture. These are my tools. Yeah, you are oh, an odd duck, aren't you? This plague is unnatural. Its victims never pass the embrace of the Silent Lord. The waiting death is a blight upon the world. It must be ended. Okay, well, at least... So far, I've uncovered no answers of my own that might help end this epidemic, though I'm eager to search the beggar's nest. What's in the beggar's nest? I've heard rumors that the blighted district zombies walk the street. Few things are so reviled by my order as the abomination of the undead. Why haven't you investigated the beggar's nest? Alone, I'm not likely to survive. Okay, uh, 200 gold pieces. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. All right. So, looks like I'm kind of on my own for a while. Everybody's going to be costly. Hello there. You don't have the look of one of those never win. You're right. I'm an adventurer. My name is Jennifer. I'm Body Knock Glinkle, whatever. A gnome sorcerer. A man does have a reputation for procuring marvelous machines. The untans are people guided by analytical principles of science. Alright, blah 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 blah. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. I've gotten I've got no action so far. The sorcerer, I thought Lantern looked at my Yep, sorry, I'm skipping past some of this uninteresting stuff. Uh, I'm looking for a mercenary. Let's see. I would be glad to accompany you. All I've been seeing the capable woman. Okay. 200 gold pieces. <laughs> I don't have that kind of gold. Okay. I'll be going. Alright, I am. I'm going to be on my own for a while, it looks like. Unless I can find a hundred gold pieces. What do you do? Please now, I already told you that I didn't mean to step on your cat. It ran right in front. Oh goodness, how embarrassing. Why is it who are you? Before I tell you anything about me, I'd like to ask you a question if I don't, but don't mind. Alright, fine. Go ahead. You're not one of those dirty, underhanded, conniving thief types, are you? No. Why do you ask? But nothing but problems with the irritating, despisable thieves ever since I left. That's not important right now. Let me introduce this. Okay. My name is Linu a devout priest of Sanin Munglo. I seek continue my adventures hiring myself as a healer. Okay. Uh, 
Why are you here in the barracks? Uh, I came to the city believing I could stem the tide of the plague of the powers of Sanin. Sanin. I worked long, hard hours. Temple to her, trying to alleviate the pain of the sick. Finally, after working through several days and nights, I was exhausted. When I tried to stand, I fainted. Then what happened? Well, I fell over and bumped into glass statues of symbol of her. One of the balance weights flew across the room and smashed spectacularly right above my head, head of the high priest. The crash was so shocking, the priest sat down right on top of a rather large shard of glass. I'm sure he healed up just fine once they stripped him and pulled it out. I was unhurt, but the other priests didn't seem too concerned about that at the time. They asked me to find somewhere else to help the wounded, as if it was my fault somehow. Well, that could happen to anyone. You were kind to say so, but I suppose it didn't help that it accidentally lit the altar on fire the previous day. <laughs> All right. Are you really that clumsy? I'm not really clumsy, I'm just tired. My troubles don't come from a lack of dexterity so much as poor timing. Don't worry, I'm good in a fight next excellent healer. Okay. Each day I've been assisting victims of the plague in the slums of the Black Lake District, where they lie in the street, ignored by the residents. Uh, okay, that's good of you. Well, not anymore. The last time I visited there a couple days ago, I was attempting to help a sick old woman off the street when I was set upon by several thugs. They were attacked while you are helping plague victims. People are terribly discouraged because they figure they are going to catch the wailing death, so they aren't overly concerned with morals. In their desperation, they turn to theft or worse. I want to go back and help, but what can I do? I think I could earn some more experience. Maybe some gold might be able to make a difference. Do you know anything else about Black Lake? Some of the rich nobles have collected exotic animals made a zoo for their entertainment. The conditions of the zoo are supposed to be disgusting, and the animals have been mistreated. Ugh. We've got to do something about that. I should have done something about it, but the sick and dying in the city are enough misery for anyone. I heard there's a druid here in the core who's looking for someone to help free the animals. If you would go to the Black Lake District, you will have to cross the slums. Plenty of leaders would like to stick a knife in you, so having someone who can guard your back and heal you is a good idea. I need someone to assist me on that mission. I want to trust you. I need to work, but I really don't care to be involved with any shady deals. Perhaps you could tell me more about the mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling everybody about this. Arabeth has worked hard to combat this plague, so I'm sure I can trust her instincts in this matter. I'd love to work for you if you agree upon a price. All right, what's the price? My goal in life is to get through with the minimum pain, but sometimes one has to aim for simple survival. To do that, you will need an experienced healer. 150 gold. Okay, so I don't. I still don't have that kind of money. At least you're a little. I don't have that kind of... Uh, all right. So nobody. I can't even afford the cheap person. Let's... Oh, uh, well, there's three. There's three more gold. Never mind, I'm just taking the gold out of your dresser here. Don't mind me. Alright, well, I got a bear. That's what I got. I got a bear. And I can't afford nobody. Much less, can't even afford two no. Definitely not two nobodies. Alright, well... Just gonna have to let's see, Docks District, Peninsula. Alright, well, we're supposed to head towards the peninsula. That seems to be the first lead. I don't have a good feeling about this though. And I lost the guard dog. Save our peninsula spot. Peninsula. Save. Alright, so let's see. We're here at the beginning. We've got the prison. Sewer access. Mercantile and the militia headquarters. I should probably go there because that's where... I'll get some leads, but no doubt the prison is where all the action is. So we have a lot of soldiers. Gate soldier, gate soldier. Oh, I need to talk. 
If you're going into the peninsula, keep your head up. There's been a prison break and the place is calling with trouble. How did they escape? Rumor is that Captain Elf and the head of the head jailer set them free. Makes no sense to me he was a good man around a tight ship. Where is this prison? Uh, I know. Southwest of here, top of the hill. Is there any area still safe? Sado Sabil is the one in charge of operation. The prisoners have her pretty much penned in, but she's managed to secure headquarters in the southeast. Alright, that looks like that added to my little quest dialogue here. Uh, it's a mission. Let's just have a plan of attack. Now everyone's just trying to figure out what's going on. Someone's going to have to go into that prison, though, and get to the bottom of it. Of course, someone's going to have to do that. Alright, well, thanks for the warning. Go talk to Sato. Sibelius. Alright, yep. So, we're not going to do that now. So, Peninsula Prison Break. And where's my bear? Oh, there you are, bear. Oh. Hey, hey, bear, come, come back here, buddy. All right. Yeah, you need to follow closely here. But let's see, that guy just died. Full wagon. What's in the full wagon? Oh, mage armor spell. Well, I can't use that myself technically, but I can certainly sell that. That's all a full wagon has, is one spell. It's not very full for a, for a wagon. Alright, let's see what's out here on the docks. More crazy people. Oh, that's a crate. Maybe there's some... Oh, potion. Nice, there you go. Now we're talking. Another chest. It's locked. Okay, well. Oh, my bear's just gonna kill it, apparently. Where's the unlock on it? Oh, there it is. Oh, Alright, let's bash it. Alright, well, is the bear actually doing any good? Looks like he's... My weapons aren't really doing anything, so... I just wait. Wait until the bear is successful. Oop. Pause the game. Yeah, hey, keep going, bear. Let's go more chests. We got... We got... And that background noise is a little bit annoying, actually, though. Turn down the environmental sounds. Yeah, let's put the sound effects down a little, just a little bit. For now. Go on, bear. Take care of business. Ooh, that one's open. And it has a gem. Nice. Okay, what about this one? No, 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 no. I want you on this chest. Yeah, don't. Just keep attacking this chest. I hope we don't have to start over. I knew I should have gotten a mace instead of a, instead of a thing. A sword. He's hitting it, but I don't know if it's actually doing any damage. I can't tell. Alright. That's right, Bear. Alright, follow me. I don't think I don't think we can do anything with those chests right now, so just just ease off on the chests, Bear. 
Oh, there's a box. Maybe there's something in the box. What's in the box? Huh. Negative energy ray. Don't think I can use that either. Yep. That's right. More stuff to sell. Alright, so where do we need to go? We need to go... There's the prison. We need to go... That's the city gate. Oh yeah, over here we need to go. Right, come on, bear. I'm going to need your help with the crazies. So I need to get all the way over there. Okay, so I think I can go this way. Corpse. Oh yeah, you got it, Jim. Come on, get him. with someone with a bear. No, no, wait, wait. Come back here, bear. Alright. Let's pause time here. Okay, there's some... Right. Finally got some... Uh, these tools. I was looking at this corpse. Maybe he just had some stuff. Okay, anything else? Oh, another corpse. Let's go over here. Let's see what we got. It's got a shield. Alright, well. Let's see. Let's open that. Can we fit the shield in here somewhere? Uh, maybe we should put, put these books back in the other inventory here. Right. And we can put the shield in here. Lighten the load a little bit. This is one of those, not quite a bag of holding, but a bag of vaguely lightening some things. feeling we're going to probably run into more of those fellas. Yeah. I need you to follow close. Oh, there's a crate. Let's check out the crate. And some bolts, not really useful, but whatever we could sell them for a whole gold piece. We we'll need hundreds more to hire a, to hire somebody. Plague victims. Whoever's been piling these disease-ridden corpses for burning has long ago fled. Uh, if you had a torch, you can continue as torch. I well, I do actually sort of have a torch. They want me to set fire to the people. Where did I put the torch? Did I put the torch in the bag? Okay. I have a torch. That was good or not, but oh, here's some money. But those guys are now put to rest, I guess, or whatever. Let's get back to my. Actually, you know what? Let's just equip the bow because. Oh, 
Should we go in a random house? Is that how this works? Oh, no. Let's get out of here. I don't want. I don't want any unnecessary combats yet at this point. I'm trying to. Uh oh. What are you going after, Bear? What are you doing? Oh, there he is. Oh. Yeah, I need you to fire from a distance, young lady. Come on, leave behind some gold or something. Really? Nothing? No loot? Alright, come on, Bear. Let's get over to the guards quickly. Anything to loot along the way? No, another house. Uh. Oh, there's a box. Maybe some gold in it. Yep. You know, these prisoners are not doing a good job of cleaning up their neighborhood from all the leftover uh, golden stuff. Priest of Helm. Okay. Let's talk to the priest. Hello to you. Uh, sure, give me Helm's blessing. Do you have any of those services? I have temple services you require. Uh, oh, he's got. Do you have healing potions? Uh, what's, what's that? Greenstone amethyst. How much uh, uh, your cure potions aren't that? Hello to you. All right, that's fine. Let's talk to this Sibyl lady here. Oh, merchants killed shingle. My name is Rania. How can I help? Where is she? She's inside. It's been a prison break. I need to speak with your superior. She's inside. Okay. That's all I need to know. Alright. That's fine. You don't have anything useful. Okay. Yeah, you're all alone here with a lot of things that can be looted. That's right, let's talk. What brings you here? The gods weren't supposed to let anyone else into the peninsula district. Say, you want a new recruit, are you? Yeah, Lady Arabeth has temporarily assigned me. How is she now? Well, that's the first bit of welcome news I've heard all day. Who are you? I'm Sido Sabil of Neverwinter Militia. I'm in charge of operations here. I'm an adventurer, okay. Adventurer, very well, Narania. Yeah. I could use your help here in pencil. I'm a bit outside the standard militia duties. What kind of job? If all the prisoners in the streets were stretched to the limit just trying to keep civilians safe, as if the whaling was enough. What I need is someone to get inside that prison and figure out, yeah. Right. <sighs> Authorize a 300 gold piece bonus to any militia member who can bring me proof the situation has been resolved. Consider a danger pay. How do you intend to get me into the prison? Narrowing prison like a fortress, sending out raiding parties, then retreating back inside. It's been hard to get hold of them. I think they're probably I think they probably carry keys to get back inside the fortress once they're finished looting or whatever. Nobody we've caught has had one. Since you can't bust down the front door, you'll have to find the person with that key. I'd start near the sewers in the southwest of the district. We've seen a number of groups around there. Perhaps you'd be willing to give an advance? Oh. Certainly not. If I gave you an advance, every militia member in the city coffers would be empty and the prisoners would still be riding. Doesn't seem much pay for a lot of work, perhaps, but the prisoners will likely have stripped the place of any valuables. You're welcome to keep anything you confiscate from them. <laughs> of course. Uh, 
What dangers are you aware of? Besides the prisoners, you may need to watch out for the head girl or elfin. Recent reports suggest he's the one who set them loose in the first place. What can you tell me about him? He used to be one of the militia's best, and until now I've never heard a bad word said of him. Lord Nasher himself appointed him to the prison's command. Something doesn't seem right with this picture. I guess the whaling can change your own perspective. Uh, Alright, I guess I'm here. Woman. Alright. Don't forget to report back to me. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, well, meanwhile, I'm gonna steal everything under your nose while you're standing here. Because, you know. Yep. Little gem. No problem. You didn't need that gem. Oh, and that gold. Yep. That's just four gold pieces lying around, right? There's nothing nothing valuable there. Don't pay any attention to what I'm doing. I'm just... Oh, there's another box. Yeah, I'll take that gold too. If I have to loot this place one gold piece at a time to get myself up to 150 just so I can hire one one freaking adventurer. Alright, so... She needs me to get a key. And she said to go towards the sewers. Yeah. Alright, so the sewers are way over there. Should I just go into random houses? I feel like that could be dangerous. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and just save just in case. You know. Because <coughs> we're cheaters barred from the other side. Okay, so we can't get in there. Oh, there's a chest, though. Just strangely sitting out in the middle of the street. It's locked. Uh-oh. Come on, bear. Flank him. You should be flanking. Get that flanking bonus. There you go. We're slowly getting through. So there it goes. Anything? Anything? Some gold. Alright, so... That's fine. Where's... I still gotta get over there. Alright, well... Oh, there's a corpse, but there's a bad guy. Master John, so maybe he's not a bad guy. There's a corpse. Loot corpses. Loot the corpses. Oh. Okay, good job, bear. Oh, now he's running off. that we can loot. Alright, four gold this time. Nice. Stop running off, bear. I need you to follow me. I need you to not take on every single guy you see. Alright, let's talk to this this fellow over here. I greet you, my child. Thanks for the help. I was trying to make my way safely home and these brutes found me. 
Uh, <laughs> who says I rescued you? Hand over your gold. Uh, okay, what are you doing on the streets? I'm a butler from Lady Tanglebrook. I was on my way home for the morning shift when all of this erupted. Uh, are there not enough? Who are they? Escapees from the prison. I heard one say it's a head goer, Gaylor himself, who freed them. He's a good man, I swear he is. Why, he'd meet every afternoon in the tunnels with Lady Tanglebrook for a friendly game of chess. They're cousins, you know. Tunnels? What tunnels? With the wailing, Lady Tanglebrook is too scared to walk the streets. Elfin, to, e to ease her fears, built the tunnels between the prison and her estate. Ah, interesting. They continue their games there. Where's this estate? The Tango Book, it's the far reach of the peninsula, as I said. She's scared of the wailing, and she locked the door behind me when I left. Maybe you could check in on her to make sure she's okay. Scared or no? I know she keeps a spare key hidden under her doormat for us. Uh, okay. Do you need an escort? Uh, would you? I was thinking I'd never make it. I have to go right to Captain Kip at the gates, so I must... Tell him about what I've seen. Uh, I should ask them a couple more questions. Okay. Hold on there. I greet you, my child. Alright, follow me. I should ask them a couple more questions before I started the escort quest. Alright, so where, where do we need to go? That's the militia. So uh, the gate's over there. There's the Tango Brook escape. Okay, so... Are you going to follow him, buddy? Nope. Alright. Yeah, stay behind me. And a bear. Damn it, bear. Taking on the whole freaking bandit camp. Ugh. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's that's gonna be no good. You could help me. No, not me. Ugh. Okay, so I screwed up. I attacked him. I'm, I was trying to get him to attack. <sighs> Stupid. Alright. That's not what I was trying to do. I don't count that as cheating, because that was just bad UI. Yeah, all right. It was a little stupid on my part, but... All right, did I not talk to the militia people yet? Yeah. Oh, I did. Okay. Sets open. Hello again. I hope your search for the cause of the riots goes well. We need all the help we... Alright. Let's get out of here. Now I gotta go find that dude again. <sighs> this is one of the things about grinding those RPGs sometimes. Well, let's see, I was headed towards the sewers. And I think I was going around this way. Take care, business. Surrender or prepare to meet your end. All right, now don't run off, bear. You stay close. 
get the carps. The other carps. Take that quest. Let's loot the area. Surrender or prepare to meet your end. I've been ineffective. Okay. I need a big bashy weapon like a mace. instead. I think oh, there it is. Alright. Here's Kit. Sure. Alright. That's fine. Alright. Now let's talk to this guy again. Oh, there's another. There's some more corpses. Let's get all the Let's get all the goods. Potion of bark skin. Okay. Some AC. That's good. Some gold. I can't remember if bark skin stacks with armor or not. Third edition was funny about, like, stacking bonuses. Alright, let's talk to you real quick. Let's I do this again. You, what are you doing in the streets? Uh, who are they? Giller. Tunnels? What tunnels? Where's the estate? Okay. Uh, not enough guards. What do you What do you know about the prison? He runs a tight ship. You used to. Use to. All right. So we already already got that. Uh, what do you know about the prison? All right. Follow me. Alright. Okay, bear. You need to follow me too. Take me ears. I need you to guard me, bear. Okay, so... Alright, so if we need to get... Oops, we need to get back around here. The bear, I need you to not run off and attack everybody. Alright. So I need you to guard me. Is he doing it? Okay. Good. Yep. Stay guarding me. Right. Okay, so... Let's come down here. Come on, guys. No, seriously. And where's Kip? We need to find Kip again. Kip is uh, like over here or something, right? Captain Kip. Well met. All right, hey, give me a, f give me a, what? Well met. No, like, hey, thanks. Here's a. 20 gold pieces or something? Man. <sighs> Alright, Bear. We're back in it. Let's go. I need you to move quickly. Oh. What was that? Something on the thing there. Oh. Some gold sitting on the floor. Oh, a whole bunch of gold. Robe of Light. I wear that with armor? Well, let's let's put that over here. I hope these are bad guys that died here. <laughs> Alright, so where's this rope? Can I put that on the Nope. It only 
Yeah. Well, that's no good. I don't want that 18 AC. But maybe we can sell it for some, some cash. Actually, let's put it in the bag. Where's the bag? Open. Anything bulky is going to have to go in the bag. So we can lessen the weight. All right. All right, where are we? Okay, well, we know where the estate is now. We don't necessarily need... Oh, uh, really? Can, can I not get to the estate from... Of course you can't. Of course I can't. You have to go all the way to the city. Well, I might as well just go to the sewers at this point. This is gonna be this is gonna be like when I'm really long. All right, let's make sure you're still in the guard position. Because if I can't get well, that's the yeah, that's the sewer opening. I gotta get over the sewer access. If I don't, I have to go all the way around the sewer just to get to the estate. <sighs> NBC quests. All right, well. Should we go in, Bear? What do you think? Oop. Yeah. We need to get stealthy. Yeah, let's kill some prisoners. All right. Uh-oh. Got some wounds. How's the bear doing? 27 to 42. 12 or 27. All right, well, I think that needs a little healing potion. You're doing all right. You've got more hit points injured than I do. Yeah, we've got some moderate wounds potion. That's nice. Oh, there's more. What else we got? No, oh, I guess that was it. All right, let's look in the chest of drawers. There may be something good in here. Ah. Really? All right. Well, sometimes the spells can be sold for some cash, so. Maybe I should rest. Let's rest up. Good place as any. And now I want to get my little cure lights and moderates back. Actually, I should have done, checked my, done my spell book first. First level, I have Cure Light Wounds. Oh, I have second level spells, too. Oh, man. Yep, I should have You always check your spell slots before you rest. That was dumb. Well, let's add a Cure Light Wounds into my... Second level, Bark Skin, Blood Fendry, Bull Strength, Charm Person, Animal, Flame, Lash. Ooh, what's that? Oh, this is second level, huh? Tangle, Magic Fang, Sleep. Summon Creature. So I have Grease and Sleep. Alright, I'm going to take off Grease right now. And do Summon Creature because I'd love to have more than one at a time. And yeah, it's bad at Cure Light Wins. So second level. What do we got? One with all hand. Caster Forge is a strong link with nature gaining. Plus four competence, bonus to animal empathy, hide, move silently, and set trap skill. Man. Flame Lash. 
Druid is able to flay an enemy with flaming brands that do 2d6 points of fire damage and 1d6 per 3 caster levels above level 3. That's pretty good, though. It seems like a, a half decent spell. Alright, yep, sure. Let's throw that in there. Uh, hour per level. Uh, bark skin hardens the target skin, granting a natural armor class. So 1 to 6 plus 3. Yeah. Let's throw that in there too. One hour per level. No, bull strength is lesser dispel, lesser restriction. Yeah, no. It's, ah, not the blood frenzy. That's not what I wanted. So the bark skin in there. What the heck? All right, now I'm gonna have to rest all over again. All over again. That's right. More people dying every day. All right. Good deal. Big bears all healed up. I'm all healed up. Got some spells. As a matter of fact, I should throw some spells onto the... Oh, well, no, 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 no. We're not trying to rest again. So we have sleep, cure minor wounds, let's throw some other spells in the hot bar here. Actually, I should probably just, yeah, do like the whole shift top bar. Do all my spells. Hmm. Well. Slow because I'm encumbered again. Okay. Right. Sun spell, druid spell, cantrip. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be annoying. One. Spell, a druid spell. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this now. I'm gonna have to do that later. It's just annoying. Alright. I just have to use that pause button more often. Okay, so I still need to get around the prison. At least it's daytime, it appears. Ugh. Oh. Where? Where? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I got a bear, buddy. Don't attack a guy with a bear. Alright, okay, good. Cure light wounds. That would have been useful for you. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Question then becomes oh, there's a corpse. Loot the corpses. Loot the bodies. Always loot the bodies. That's the rule. There you go, bear. Got some. All right. Uh, oh, that's a 
box over there. Loot the boxes. Because these prisoners are really bad, apparently. And checking the most basic stuff. Is this the sewer already? Uh, I guess it is. Scare. Alright. That's fine. Can I even use that one? Let's see. Nope. So these seem to be you and me. Let's go. Challenge rating overpowering. This guy gets difficult, really difficult. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> we got a bear, though. That's what we did. Come on, buddy. Don't mess with the bear. Near death. Yeah. Let's take him down. Take him down. Come on. Oh, no. Shuriken. That's random. Okay, so. Sorry, I have to do some. Now I have to do some. Sort of. A sort sorting. Because I'm. You know, about that kind of thing. Space in here. Make sure let's put all the maps on number three. We don't really need to deal with them. Should, I should get rid of the books too, but I just can't. I just can't. All right, let's close that for now. Oh, oh, ale. Okay. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with ale, but alcohol, single use. Hmm. Well, let's see that. Maybe we can bribe somebody or something. Yeah. Did we get that crate? I don't remember if we got the crate. No, we didn't get the crate. Good. Alright, how you doing, Barry? Uh, Barry's a little bit wounded. Hmm. Can you heal me? No. I don't think the bear can heal me. You do guard me. I will heal you, though. Uh, actually, I can just... It's a new day, so I can just... If you die, I'll summon a new animal companion. Sorry about that, buddy. Just the way it is. Oh. Look out, bear. Help me out. 
Okay, you need to guard me. But that's right, he's dead now. You must fall for the greater good. No, no, bear, bear. Could just take on the whole prison, apparently. Oh, he had some money. All right. Slowly working our way up. Our bolts that we don't need. Of stuff to look at. It's like if you want to really make sure you are successful in this game, you gotta. Like, they could have just, instead of having like four things to loot, put one thing to loot and put a bunch of treasure in it. Because <laughs> then you're just like, did I look in there? Did I look in that one? Did I look in that one? Of healing, that's something at least. More gems. Yeah, yeah, these these guys are terrible at looting their own you know, prison grounds. I'm making out like a bandit. In both a li literal and metaphorical way. him a little something and he's like all right nothing right now let's let's get the remains all right well he went from from being really beat up and hurt to uh just giving him a little food and he's like mm. i didn't even realize i had food is that just something that you just have it's not in your inventory but it's just there Right. I do need you to guard me though. Stay close. Yeah. This is the back end of the prison. Sort of. Nope. Uh oh. I will strike you down or fall in the attempt. <laughs> Gotta be a druid spell, right? Yeah, there you go. Usable by druid. Alright. See so sound burst, charm, yeah, I should put like some of these things in my 
hot bar. I'm going to have to deal with that later. I finally got some action. Color spray. There you go. Can I use that? Probably not. Yeah, Bard, Sorcerer, and Wizard. Scare. Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard. Nope. Alright. I'm just pretty much just clearing out the entire docks, just trying to get over to this lady's house. I mean, the whole peninsula, whatever. Prison district. And the corpse. Yeah, you guys hear something, but... You don't know how to get to us. Oh, here they come. Yeah, let's get the key. Because we're not stupid. Nobody figured that one out before. Oop. Come on, bear. Help me out here. Finally getting a little bit of gold. It's about time. Right. Now we can finally go inside the house. And I think we'll have to, uh, after we find out what's going on here, we'll just have to... Uh, Call it an evening and say good night. Let's go back outside, probably. I'm now in a party PvP area. Alright, well, what's this? Stairs down. Big bear. Let's just go back outside. There's a bedroom. Where's the lady? Bookshelf. What do you got? Oh, you got a lovely book. Her journal. I have a feeling I'm going to have to read something. I've been assiduously uh, avoiding coming to read lore crap, but looks like I'm going to have no choice at this point. Alright, what's. Can we see what she was painting? No? Oh, okay. Uh, she was painting a snowstorm. <coughs> hey, good evening, viewer. I didn't see you uh, pop in. Well, oh, actually, I saw some people jump in the chat, but... Yeah, lurks. Is Hope you're having a good evening. 
just following the lead in the, uh, what do you say, the Peninsula District? Oh, that's back outside, isn't it? Yeah. It's a side door. All right. I didn't want to go back inside. I thought it might just be another bedroom. Okay, so what about here? Anything to check here? No. Whoa. Oh, look, a lady. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Alright, I think I need to... I need to cast a spell or something? Let's see, what do we got? Resistance. Ah. Okay. Are these things even close to being wounded? Challenging. Uh oh. Oh, the bear died? Alright, well, we gotta bring another one. New bear. Come on, come on. Let's kill these beetles. Oh, no way. I died. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, well. There we have it. I s the Dad sucks at video games. That's the name of the stream. Um, so we'll have to uh, reload later because it, that's going to be the end of my stream for now. <laughs> and I didn't really save recently and it looks like it hasn't auto saved in a while. Ah. Let's see what happens if I respawn right there. Ah. To my words. You must hear them. All right. Well, that was really dumb. So, uh, thanks for jumping in and watching me fail because that's what this stream is all about. Making stupid mistakes, not watching your hit points and uh <sighs> taking on more than you can uh, handle. But uh, I'm going to call it an evening because it is rather l getting late. And uh, this is about all I can do in uh, one night. In a couple hours. But thank you anyways for jumping in. I uh, will be back here next Wednesday uh, with Neverwinter. And Mondays is MechWarrior and Battletech. So I uh, hope you jump in again real soon. Um, and uh, until then, I will say adios and uh, catch you on the flip side. Good night.